Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Dark Souls the Card Game, Seekers of Humanity Expansion. This is the second expansion to, well, Dark Souls the Card Game, and it's by the same people as the board game, still. So, let's see what's in this. Looks like, uh, only one class from the back, but regardless, we'll get to it. I actually have yet to play the second expansion. And uh, I know people still want me to do an overview over the core game and probably the expansion. And I will try to get around to those. But currently, I still want to do all the board game first, or at least the majority of it, now that it's all here. And I'm still trying to work heavily on King of Death Monster. Alright, so first off, we've got a short little rule book. It's not thick at all. Uh, it's got a bunch of iconography on the back with a bunch of different characters. Does this one add a lot more bosses or something? Oh, this may have added invasions. Yes, invaders are now a thing in it. Cool, I'll read those rules in my own time. And I can kind of tell because here's all the invader tokens. They are red-eyed orbs on the back and very specific characters in the front. All of which I think are in the summons invader expansion for the miniature deck. Then we've got the usual board, which is still double-sided with two bosses. Because again, you start here, you travel, the difficulties are based on these icons, and you have to kill both bosses. I don't remember if they have to be killed in a specific order. I know story-wise it makes sense to kill them in a specific order, like this one has the Smelter Demon and the Old Iron King, and you would do the Smelter Demon first, although you didn't need to in the video game. Same thing with the other side, which was the Pursuer and the Last Giant. But regardless... We got three packs of cards in here, so let's get to these because this is the meat of this. Again, this is an expansion, not a standalone expansion. Uh, let's start with the one that has the character on the front, which is the cleric. Pole tabs, I love you. You are so much easier to deal with, but I would rather just have your stuff not wrapped in plastic at all because I don't want the plastic to be sitting around and going to waste and because it is a waste of materials. So, as a quick look, we have the cleric, and there's definitely another one in here, is my guess, because I'm seeing other icons, but, ah, the warrior. So, I'm guessing this is the cleric starting deck, from what I remember that they do. We've got the cleric, which is Keeper of Faith. Put this card over to kill each character one. I'm guessing the set icon is the red-eyed orb, and we've got the class icon. And he's a threat three. Pair of consecrated maces, three sacred chimes, two cleric robes, and two blue wooden shields, as well as then a bunch of stamina, which is the stock standard base ones. The warrior has flipped this card over to hit the whole targeted row with this card's next attack, and is a threat of nine, as it should be high. And he's got three battle axes, two brigade axes, Axe, axe, axe. A pair of northern armors and a pair of round shields, along with, again, just a bunch of stamina. Cool. Nice that they did that simple and clear. So then we've got what looks like all of the enemies, because it starts with an invader on the front and an enemy card on the back. Or an encounter card, really. Although I don't think any of these are not enemies, but I would never be surprised to see traps or hazards which would basically be the same thing in this game. Although that would really make it too easy, unless it was, if you draw this, draw another. Alright, so it looks like majority of this is invaders, with the rest of it being just stock standard enemies. And the invaders look to be something like mini-bosses, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, okay. So they just organized it silly, because the first few cards are the invaders themselves, followed by a bunch of different enemy cards, which they have their own on the back. I don't know how this will work, but we've got Xanthus, King of Jeremiah, which is a Demon Souls reference, and then further is a H.P. Lovecraft reference. Marvelous Chester, Daughter of Crystal Kalmhild, I've never even seen this one before, Paladin Leroy, and Night Slayer Tushla, I don't know how you say that, 
Looks like the uh, butchers in here too. Okay, some of these might actually be mini bosses, while those ones are just basic enemies. Because we've got the butcher, who has four cards of its own, and these are actual attack cards, as opposed to mini bosses. And they have these ones have a different have their icon for the back, as opposed to just an enemy card. And then we have a sorcerer-like invader. I don't remember the names of a lot of these. A female druid. I've never come across this one, and I only recognize it in general because it's in the miniatures expansion. This one I don't even remember at all, but it's got a bowl for an icon. Then the Thorn Knight. Okay, these have got to be elsewhere, but these are keys to his data cards. And I say that because Jeremiah's cards are right here. So they're probably in the back of the third pack, and this is actually the... And this one is actually the third pack. But then we've got Chester's cards. The Crystal character. I don't remember if I said this one earlier. And then the knight who I couldn't pronounce the name of. So, on to the third and final pack. Again, if people would like me to go over this in detail, please do comment. While it will be some time till I get around to this, it does give encouragement to do things in general, as opposed to just more unboxing videos in my in my spare time. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah, they're right here in the back. I'm going to do them real quick before I get to the rest of this. And it's uh, Maneater Mildred. Thought so, just couldn't remember the name. Armorer Dennis, Fencer Sharon, again, never came across this one in any of the games. I also have never played the expansions to Dark Souls 3. Oliver the Collector, and Kirk Knight of Thorns, who I never actually came across but was aware of. At least I never came across him as an enemy. And then we've got a bunch of gear here, some of which is specific to the different enemies. These are all the invader specific gear, I believe. Looks like it. Then we've got, but I'll start with the basic gear. I just wanted to point out what was there. We've got a uh, crystal chime, profane flame, firestorm, acid surge, dark set, shadow set, lion clan shield. Looks like it's gonna fall apart in a second. The Gold Falcon Shield. I don't even remember what this does. Havel's Great Shield. Surprise, that's a basic item. The Dragon Slayer's Axe. Claw, not claws. And then we get into the transposed items. Fume Ultra Great Sword. Okay, that's a big leap. Red Hilted Halberd. Giant Stone Axe. Knight's Ring. Smelter Sword. Iron King Hammer, Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword. Surprised these aren't designated as specific items. Pursuer's Great Shield, and the last of the transpose being Soul Great Sword. And again, the rest are specific to the various invaders. With Armor of Thorns, Butcher's Knife, Notched Whip, Sanctus the Shield, Chester's Set. Clear bluestone ring. Love that ring. Don't even remember what it does. Knight Slayer's ring. Sage Crystal Staff. Sanctum Princess Tiara. And Minotaur Helm. They all have their icon. Oh, I completely forgot to go over the basic enemies, but they're actually supposed to be last, so I'll get back to that. Then we've got bosses, which is all of this. Starting with their main cards, we've got the Last Giant, the Pursuer, fun thing to fight, Smelter Demon, hate this thing, and the Old Iron King. I hate that hole. If you know what I mean, you share my pain, most likely. And we've got various cards for them. This is their actual what they do, but we have for the Last Giant. Back step, left foot stomp, right foot stomp, tantrum, claw swipe, body slam, and then some heat up cards of overhead club and arm sweep because he rips his own arm off. 
And all of these use the same image that was in their main card. That's why I'm not doing like one, two, three. Then for the Pursuer, we have Overhead Swing, Shield Bash, Triple Stab Combo, Crescent Shockwave, Charge, Impale, Shield Stab. Oh, I remember that animation now. Double Slash and Dark Magic. I'm guessing, yeah, you're supposed to go after the mini boss first. I have to double check the rules on that. That was something that was really confusing when I played the game the few times that I have. Then for the Smelter Demon, we have Jumping Plunge, Fire Rage, Double Horizontal Slash, Lunge, Cleave, Fire Trail, Blazing Slash, and Flaming Sword. And lastly, for the Old Iron King, we have Burning Rage, Scorching Blast, which has a lot of stuff on it, Flame Breath, Downward Smash, Flamethrower, Double Fist Smash, Fiery Roar, and Swipe. No heat, on card, heat up cards on any of them except for the last giant, so I don't know. And then some basic monsters, which there's, by some, I mean a lot. I don't think there's too many, but yeah. And I want to check something real quick about those invaders. I feel that they might have... Okay, they do come in various levels. So they are all over the place and have the usual different icons on the back. Just like these two. I don't think any of them have the skull. I think they all have the silver slash black knight and the one and then the one with the sword on it representing difficulty of two and three respectively. But we've got Hollow Royal Bowman, Hollow Infantry Axeman. Hollow Infantry Men, which I think is just the same image as the last one. Hollow Infantry Swordsman, again, I think the same image. Let's see. Hollow Vanguardian Swordsman, Hollow Vanguardian Bowman, which have the same image as each other. Or basically. The Dark Dweller, I don't actually remember what this is from. Royal Swordsman, Royal Crossbowman. Again, they're being lazy. I don't like that. Forest Grotesque. Which isn't a game image. Ruptured Hollow, Grim Worker, Bell Keeper. Oh, I remember the Bell Keepers. They were fun. That was one of the few things I did in Vagen Vaz, I think. Executioner, Ogre, and Hollow Primal Knight. Is that the giant elephant enemies? And a lot of those are level twos. A Lawn Knight Bowman, Grim Warrior, and a Lawn Knight, which uses the same image as the Bowman, just zoom in. Hide Knight Swordsman, Hide Knight Lanceman, same images, stop doing that. Old Ironclad Soldier, Lion Clan Warrior, Flame Salamander. Ironclad Soldier, which again uses the same image as the other iron one. Alon Knight Captain, not sure if that one's the same image, but whatever. And Old Knight. And that's the entire expansion, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will like this video, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, again, if you'd like to see a detailed overview of this game, be it the expansion or the core game. I People have requested the core game, but more requests will encourage me to get to it sooner rather than later. Or if you'd like to see anything more about Dark Souls board game, any of those miniatures painted that I haven't done already, or talk about Dark Souls in general, or anything else along those lines, such as other Dark Souls inspired games, or Kingdom Death, which is honestly the board game that I say you should get if you want a board game that plays like Dark Souls Combat. And if you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, all three of which I try to do for Dark Souls games, Anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.